SBC Music Lovers. Happy New Year. Happy 21. Hopefully it's a great one. Hopefully it's a, a better one. Let's say a better one. Let's just not aim for ridiculousness. Okay, let's just hope it's a better one. Okay. Um, good to see you. Okay. This is not a vinyl tag just yet. Maybe coming up some stage. I like the vinyl tags, but not quite ready for it. Over the last few weeks, just been pulling some albums. And just, I was going to do 20, but 20 is not a very nice number. We moved on from 20, but I was going to do 19, but actually 20 came out. So, anyway, determined to leave its mark. Alrighty, so 20 albums that I've, records that I've pulled from, from the collection, pulled from the collection, just because... I love them, and you know, I love most of the stuff there. You know, probably don't love every single one, and some of the ones that might move on at some stage. But all these, I just pull and going through, and just love having these albums in the collection. So, 20 albums I love having in the collection. All right, some of these I've shown before, some of them I haven't. Some of them are shown often, some are not. Okay, Radio Birdman. Great Aussie punk punk rockers. Them and the Saints were the two driving flagships for Australian punk rock. Punk uh, 78, something like that, 77, 78. You know, during the, the start and the prime. And yeah, so this is a reissue, but just, you know, I've spoken about this. People speak about this. Fantastic. Radios appear. The non-Australian version has got white cover with the B members standing up, different sort of sort of positions. But um, anyway, so I love it. Punk rock. If you're into, if you're into punk and punk rock, Radio Birdman, fantastic. Budgie, you know, shown a reasonable amount of times in the music vinyl community. I've got an album actually with that cover on as well. Uh, just great. Three piece. They were known as heavy metal back in, when they came out. Probably these days they're called hard rock. But geez, they're just, you know, like heavy metal back in the 70s and that. There is some slower songs, but there's some heavy mothers in there. Just great. Great sort of a, I don't know, heaviness. And just, you know, as I say, some slower ones in there as well. Amazing cover, Roger, Roger Dean covers. Budgie, awesome band. Welsh. Tracy Chapman. I think it's a debut. Uh, about 80 something. 80, 88. Man, fantastic album. I absolutely love this album. Listen to this so much growing up when it came out. Just Probably on tape. Still got it there. Uh, just amazing songs. And I want to. I played actually all these albums in the last couple of weeks just to recap that uh, memory. And it's pretty much new this word to word. Definitely put side one knew all the words. Uh, lost a little bit of a couple ones on the second, but just powerful, powerful stuff. Beautiful album. Probably very common. Probably bought for less than five dollars. Fantastic. One of my favourite covers, full stop. Dead Kennedys, Frankenstein, it's not, I always mess it up a bit. Franken Christ, Franken, Frankie goes forward, no, no, he doesn't go anywhere. Franken, <laughs> oh, it is, oh yeah, Franken Christ, Franken Christ, just fantastic. Uh, alternative, alternate tentacles. There's Jello's um, label, just fantastic punk, punk rockers, very um, political. Um, just, uh, I've been watching some interviews with Jello, the Bifra, Bifra, Jello um, lately. He's, man, that guy can talk underwater. And I, I you know, appreciate what he says. He's just. Once people, corporations and governments have stopped influencing what people think, and just let people think and 
you know, for themselves rather than being fed garbage. So, yeah, Dead Kennedys, fantastic. You know, what a fantastic album. Just high octane, <laughs> amazing lyrics, and just, yeah, good stuff, great stuff. Kinks, this is fantastic. It's uh, the Preservation, uh, Village Green Preservation Society. What, a, what an album. This is a repress. This is a bit of VCLT from the grandma a while ago. Just absolutely love it. Um, just, I mean, I've got probably more Kinks um, comps than actual studio albums. Um, but this is the one that I'd grab off. Yeah, I'd pull off the shelf if anyone asks for Kinks or my brain says Kinks. Um, if you can hear me, you've got a bit of water in the ear. I'm not sure if I'm coming through. <laughs> Okay. Um, just look, fantastic. You know, it's actually had a look at the genre as class, classic rock. I think it's just pop perfection. That's what I'm saying. La da da. I've shown this a few times. This is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. La da da's were a, a, a band from New Zealand. They did come over to Australia after, to Australia after a couple of years. This came out in like 69, 70, 71, something like that. Just amazing charity store find. You know, like, I had no idea what it was. I, had to, I looked it up on Discogs and it was coming with me. It's, it's, a, um, it's basically an album on a, uh, based on, uh, what's that, Oscar Wilde story, The Happy Prince. Just beautiful, beautiful. Just, it's soft, um, touching, it's a bit of progressive, a bit psychedelic. It's just a beautiful album. I mean, if you want to sit down with someone that you love, or someone that you hate, <laughs> and listen to this, there'll be love. Um, it's just, I don't know. There is, it is on YouTube, so check it out, The Happy Prince, The la da -Dars. They're known as a bit of a garagey sort of rocky band. Um... But yeah, this is amazing. And there is, on this one, there is like a, it's on EMI, just a standard sort of orange EMI sort of states, statesman label, if you're quick. Uh, Columbia, sorry, Columbia. Okay, I was thinking, wrong thing, but it's a similar one. Anyway, um, I was going to say, it is on YouTube if you want to listen to this. But this actually, this the album itself has actually got narration on it um, in between songs. And I did see somewhere that someone didn't like that but I think it adds to it, it just gives you a bit more of the story um, and the narration I looked up who it was it's a guy called Adrian Rawlings Is that right Adrian Rawlings and he actually is um, Harry Potter's dad um, not David Radcliffe's dad but Harry Potter's dad so that's I don't know how that ended up but he's the narrator and this is a beautiful album one day I might put this on YouTube and uh, with the narration because I think it just adds to it. It's beautiful. <laughs> um, John Mayle. This is my favourite. Sorry if the light's not greatest. Um, Blues from Laurel Canyon. This is my favourite John Mayle album. It's beautiful. It's it's just smooth blues. That's it. Smooth blues. Um, obviously got the Blues Breaker with Clapton and a few other geezers, but I mean, this is beautiful. Um, Nick Taylor before he went to the Stones on this. Just, just look up, um, listen to Medicine Man. I mean, that'll tell you if this is good or not. And it's just a great smooth blue album. Um, smooth blue, smooth blues rock. Uh, I've lost it. <laughs> Too much water in the in the head. Cheers, everyone. Everyone's well. Just a bit of a furpy. There is no furpies on here as a disclaimer. I'm still on that blue smooth blues rock. Oh, anyway, anyway um, my only um, blue note. So this is my <laughs> contribution because there's a lot of great. YouTubers that do the blue, mo blue note, um, <laughs> the blue note sort of series. Um, actually, it's not a, not a very quite a light blue. It's sort of a, a, 
a pale electric blue. Um, so yeah, I was so stoked when I found this, like in an antique shop. I didn't have any idea really who it is or what it was. It was Blue Note, so it's coming with me. Um, it's great to see a Blue Note spin on a turntable. Basically, I love that. Mad Live invades the Blue Note. Invades Blue Note. Um, Mad Lib's a bit of DJ producer, and apparently a record, a, a record nut, collecting nut. Um, and he just puts his take on it. Does some dubs and remixes and adds a few things. There's a bit of a narration on here as well. They talk a little bit about uh, the owners of Blue Note. That's Alfred Lyons, one. I can't remember the other guy's name. Just um, Eli Wolf, I think. Eli Wolf, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Uh, but yeah, somewhere it says you're like, oh, Mad Lib. Mad Lib gets all the best jobs. How the hell did you get this job? So he basically just had free reign to the Blue Note archives and sampled and did stuff to dub with it so yeah it's quite cool quite cool double double thing double um album and yeah really cool bit of a staple on the vc but you know it's so happy when i've got one 13th floor elevators this is a mono sundays reissue you know it's i think it's a perfect mix of um garage and psych there you go, very nice. Um, <laughs> I was trying to peek through there. Anyway, so yeah, fantastic. Um, yeah, you know, it's well known, sorry about that. Um, bit of shaking on the camera. Yeah, just well known. If you, you gotta, you don't have to do anything. But if you can find this, buy it. Rodriguez, talk about this a few times. Cold fact on the uh, Blue Goose um, label. Very cool. It's not the original Blue Goose, but I think it's much better. This is fantastic singer songwriter, psychedelic folk rock. Some absolutely stunning songs on there. Fantastic stuff. The leaves, oh, this is great, sort of uh, garagey. This is their, maybe their second album. Just some, all the good things happening. Um, this is from an in New Zealand press. Still got the address there. Who knows? Hopefully, it's there still. On capital, yeah, just rainbow. Just great um, garage, garagey rock. Fantastic, just some beautiful sort of songs on there um, yeah look the leaves awesome this one was I can't remember when I bought it um, it wouldn't have been much I would have bought it from a, a dollar or two Linda Martell color me country really cool I love that color cover just a classic sort of I think it's a 1970s cover um, album but yeah classic sort of coloring there and design She's a country singer, maybe a little bit of soul there, on the Plantation record, so no, she only had one album, so, um, only one album, unfortunately, but I think she, because I think a lot of racial, she got a lot of racial abuse um, on stage, and I think she felt, I read something, she felt that Plantation name plantation records was also race, racist i don't know understand how or why um there was a shelby this is called in this is recorded in um, nashville tennessee uh, shelby singleton was the producer of the label plantation records and so he had, she had a falling out with him he ended up taking over this other lady called janine c riley uh janine um, Harper Valley PTA, I think was a famous song. So, so anyways, with all those stuff going on and him focusing on this lady, Linda left, but really nice voice, really nice country. It is country with a little bit of sprinkling of a, um, soul possibly. 
yeah, really cool, cool album. Um, yep, this, this one, this one, crazy fine, crazy, crazy. This is a fin. I don't know if I'm finished. He's Icelandic dude. Should I just put some turn it over the record? What do you think? Thanks for sticking around. I feel like I'm talking quite subdued. Um, I don't know if it's the water in me, but I, I just. I mean, I've had these albums in my collection for quite a while, so I know them quite well, and I just it's like, not like I'm not like shocked now, and just like still pumped, just like oh, I'm deeply pumped. <laughs> so anyway, this one is a weird. Well, it's probably not weird in Iceland. It's probably just weird how it ended up down under into my garage. Can't say the name, but known as Billy. I don't even know what year. I think this is in the 70s, late 70s sometime. Just a really interesting, I mean, interesting label. This is, I mean, how cool is that label? You know, you get your, basically your flag on the label. And you can see there it's a misprint and they're all, and they're basically cut and pasted the correct information that was on there. I don't know if you can see that. But, um, just really, I don't know how the hell it ended up down here. I just love the bit of a lo-fi sort of. You, know, you got the you got the lyrics all in clearly in um, Icelandic. It's got your little staple, just one staple. You can feel like that. It's very low production, but you know he probably Billy probably stapled these all himself. Um, just it's a really good album. It's um it's got. <laughs> some folkiness but it's also got a reggae song it's also got like a, a disco soul song it's got like um just you know it's got a, a wide variety of music on it and i don't know if this is a standard thing in iceland but yeah fantastic fantastic love it love it <laughs> billy look him up he's actually on you he's on youtube the cover the video actually though is the, is a different color it's um it's an orange colour. This is an original Icelandic press. Yeah, this well, last year I got my first Ramones collection. Now I've got about two, about three. The debut. This is a later Aussie repress. Um, different sort of shading, but fantastic. You know, I was thinking, this is such an upbeat music. You know, you cannot be sad when you listen to this. I was thinking, you know, instead of maybe giving people ECT, maybe they should in those things they put on their head electricity through there just put the remains on they will wake up much happier probably guarantee it so happy to have this in the collection rage their first album 92 fantastic just killer stuff you know when i bought got this in a collection i bought i didn't realize it was an original it is an original um a us original on the epic um Man, what <laughs> this has got so many genres. What is it? It's like metal, punk, new metal, funk metal. It's I don't know. It's what it is. It's kicking, kick in your face, friggin' in your face. Oh, just amazing monsters, monster. Now listen to this, and like if you can pump, and I feel like I really need to pump it, but it's a bit hard with the neighbours, but. Went for a bit, of a bit of drive today and I just cranked it. Man. It's just fantastic. Fantastic. Mud Honey, every little, every good boy deserves fudge. I love the title, I love the album. I have so people say they don't like the whole look of this. Fantastic. And you know what? I, this is my go to, Mud Honey. I've got their debut, which I need to really listen to again better. But um, it's just great. Great grungeness, um, rockness. Just, ah, uh, I really dig it. Really dig it. You probably know the players that are pretty much synonymous with a lot of gr the grunge scene. Yeah, dig that. Oh, one of my favourite albums. It's, I've shown this multiple times. I just, we'll keep showing it. Celebrate Rifles. The Turgid Nearsman, Nearsman, Ma of Existence. I can never say that. This is fantastic punk rock. Aussie guys, punk rockers, just legends. 
Aussie Sydney punk rock scene on the hot label. It's not a promo, but it looks like one. So I love that label, actually. Um, just... Um, oh, something's happening to the record. Hang on a sec. Um, oh, sorry. A bit of um, dust on the needle and I'm getting a bit hot. So, yeah, it is summer here, but probably one of the first, only one or two days we've had without rain. It's just been continually raining. The El Nino, which is, you know, not great in summer, but you know, compared to last year when we had bush, the worst bushfires ever, it's, uh, we'll take it. Uh, look, Silver Rifles, absolutely love them. If you're into punk rock, check these guys out. I don't know, I don't think anyone else shows this in the VC, MC, whatever you are, C. This is just fantastic. And they're not probably not pol too pol as political as a lot of punk, punk rockers. Talk more about life. Um, just like... Um, just some kind of feeling like he just gets up, go to work, says hello to one, kisses his family, says bye, and sits down, looks out the window, and says, "Just looking for some some for some kind of feeling." I was, I don't know, I just love, I don't know, I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, new mistakes, I love that. New mistakes. There's so many great songs in here. Conflict of interest, instinct. If you want to listen? To, I should tell you, conflict of instinct, some kind of feeling, sometimes. There's a song called New Mistakes, which is just about life too. It goes, let's make some new mistakes. I'm sick, excuse me, I'm sick of all the old ones. Just life stuff. I showed this one quite a bit too. Sorry, I'm just going to keep showing it. Tamman Shad Evolution. Man, just fantastic stuff. Um, progressive, hard rock, surf rock. The first few songs were from a surfing movie in Australia. Um, they just did this whole album in two hours. They had some footage in front of them and they just jammed out to it. It is a jam. This is a jam. Great jam session. Session. Um, it was one of the songs, the bassist forget to turn, forget to turn his amp on. Yeah. Tam and Shard. It's, this is like 1969, actually. Great band. This second one is much more valuable. This is a repress. This is not expensive. You can get this in the States for probably 30 bucks. To your home. It is a fantastic album. Um, the second one is quite expensive. Um, goes for over a thousand, I think, originals. But yeah, this is the better one, I think. That's more progressive. This has got the jam. This is jam. Um, in the background, one of my favourite groups, Sunny Boys. I haven't shown this before. This is their 40th um, anniversary, 40th year of their EP, uh, which came out came out. I think the EP came out in probably 1980, maybe 79, I think. 79. So this is this came out in 19, last year, basically. So 40 years. Fantastic. That's what's playing in the background. Um, power pop, post-punk. Um, just great stuff. Um, the Oxley brothers, two brothers in there. It's a bit of a booklet. I love the... Um, I love the Sunny Boys logo. Just the, some flyer stuff. This is a limited edition of 150 odd. 152. I don't know how many were made. Um, yeah, on a hard, cup, hard cover. Sunny Boys, fantastic power pop. Great, great, great Australian post punk power pop band. This is their 40th edition. Check out any of their albums except the last Wildcat. Don't worry about it. Um, and Velvet Revolver. Oh, you say that? That's so blasphemy. Um, Velvet Underground. Sorry, boys. Fantastic. Got this a few months ago. Absolutely love it. Love it to death. Just amazing, amazing rock. Art rock, and they say. It is. It's masterpiece rock. Um, didn't actually show it. It's actually a second UK press, um, the MGM. It's actually a misprint, though. Both labels are side, I think, B's labels. Uh, you probably won't be able to see that, but yeah, they're both the um, side B song listing. So, take care everyone. That's 20 great record pulls from the collection. 20 albums I love having in there. You look after yourselves. 2021, bring it.